So tonight, Santa Cruz Ghost Hunters is investigating a tunnel mansion for the second time. This time inside a carriage house of dusty treasures and antiques, where Jennifer Oliver claims that a childlike entity wanders the antique shop. Let's see what Santa Cruz Ghost Hunters can get. Is it a ghost or a ghost story? <laughs> A young lad, maybe 11. Oh, I'm going to meet your crush. Do you oh, like Jennifer? Um, Does she keep you company? Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to leave here? That's a good question. Turn the light on if you want to leave this house. Um. Mm. Here's Jeff. If we can't help you, can you turn the light on? We can't help you? Hey, tell us what you saw while you were down here by yourself. Okay, after I set up my equipment, I put my headphones on. And with my headphones, I could hear everything really vivid in this area. But I wasn't sitting here anymore. It actually moved when I was sitting right here. This is where I was sitting, so I could see everything and relax. And maybe 15, 20 minutes later, I was facing this room. I wasn't turning my head. I was actually just looking that way, just gazing. And maybe about that big, I saw a dark little shadow move in that room and shift over towards the dolls or whatever is on that shelf. And I looked, I'm all, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was real, if it wasn't, but I got up and I walked out for a couple minutes and uh, <laughs> came back in and I had to ponder it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just something I saw really fast. It was probably like one and a half, two seconds. And, uh, yeah, I had my headphones on and I was in this little world of, of my own because I can hear everything. I can hear music outside. I can hear traffic. And when I saw it, I kind of like combined everything together in a way. I was like, is this, is this something? So I took my headphones off and walked outside and came back in. And then a little later, you guys came in and we started doing the EVP. So I think it was around that time. Session, yeah. But it's interesting you guys are asking about a small child because the shadow reminded me of something like that. It wasn't shaped like that. It just wasn't big. It was smaller. So when you guys start asking um, during the session, I was thinking, what a coincidence, you're asking about a small child. So you didn't realize that was a, there was a small child in here in the previous session? Yeah. Yeah, talking to my wife. What if they're attached to something like an object? Because it's like now that they got antiques in here, that's entirely possible. What up? Oh, oh which one? <laughs> I promise not to sell it. All of them. <laughs> Can you turn the light off and we'll ask which one? Turn the light off. It's the monkey on the floor. I was thinking that over there. The, the carousel horse? horse? Mm -hmm. My aunt made that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, light went off. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, damn, where's Do you Brian? like the carousel horse? Wow. Earlier this evening, we were talking about the toys, if this energy or little boy that we're assuming it is liked specific toys in the house. Uh, when I mentioned uh, the rocking horse over there, all of a sudden the REM pod went off, like something just shot right by it. 
running running towards the rocking horse. So that was really cool. Very interesting. She's really scaring you? Bad? Go and scare her. <laughs> no, don't see her. <laughs> Oh, the trifold. They're going off together. Is it on? Uh, what's the trifold meter set on? It's most sensitive, zero to three. Is it on? Is it? It's not one of those. Um, what do you call it? Where it just measures uh, DC. No, it's a, it's a it's a regular. It's not okay. a natural. Okay. Do you need some? Like the monkey. You want to play with the monkey? Mm -hmm. Do you need the monkey? 